From Morogoro the next morning, we traveled by smaller bus into the Raguru Mountains. The town we were going to is called Niandira. The whole area is called Imgeta and is the home of many Ruguru people, a tribe and culture who live and farm in the mountainous area. This was my second visit to the area accompanied by my good friend Cleophas Natigua, otherwise known as Klinga. He is Ruguru, speaks the language, and has good friends and family in the area. Klinga is very interested in documenting the daily life of the people in the area and gains great satisfaction from visiting. He has come many times since he was a child. We are visiting to experience the peaceful na nature of the area, the cool climate, to make videos, possibly record traditional Raguru music. In the morning we continued looking to see if there was music to record. In the traditional Raguru music, music is usually performed in the context of a dance at a ceremony or celebration like a wedding. After asking several people if they knew of any dances going on, we walked into a marriage ceremony with music coming down the road. It was a procession of people dancing, singing, playing music, or walking from the house of the groom to another place. I think maybe the house of the bride. The dance moved on the main road of Niandira with people joining in or dropping out as we passed. Many people just watched as if they had seen such an event many times, but others were excited. The dancers welcomed me and Klinga right away, and before I knew it I was dancing down the road holding a branch with leaves that someone gave me to hoist in the air. Klinga shot video and I recorded sound. We tried to be as sensitive as possible to respecting people's wishes about being recorded. Klinga in indicated to me it was okay and I did my best to record and dance at the same time. We walked about a mile and the music and dance kept up steady and showed no signs of tiring. We stepped out after showing some of the performers the sound and video which they seemed to really like. Luga luga we, haskuna mwalo. Luga luga we, haskuna mwalo. Luga luga mai we, haskuna mwalo. Luga luga lumbu we, haskuna mwalo. Luga luga tata we, haskuna mwalo. Ona kofala fiatu we. We met a young Maasai teacher in the village named Lusungu. He told us that he had lived for two years there and hadn't gotten sick once. Once he returned to Morogoro City, he got sick right away. The reason for this is the mountains are very clean and the climate is so cool that there is little malaria. It's a very healthy place to live. We returned with a pickup and said goodbye to our friends. It happened that there was a ceremonial dance taking place at an area nearby. We had seen it from the next mountain over when we were driving. I hesitated to go as it was a family's house and we weren't invited. Klinga said we would see if it's possible to record, and if they said no, then they said no. The music and dance started right after we arrived. There's probably a hundred people scattered around a few houses. The music was amazing with a hypnotic beat, and I danced as best as I could, catching on to a few steps here and there, and otherwise awkwardly moving around. It was a little bit overwhelming, dancing, listening to the music, conversing with people as they passed in the little Swahili I know, and trying to record at the same time. At one point a woman jumped into the dance with me and led me around for a while. Oh. 
At some point, I managed to get drunk as well after an old woman insisted I drink a cup of some kind of fermented liquid made of millet and corn. The music and dance started up again. The final part of the ceremony involved taking two girls from their house on the backs of two guys covered in cloth and leading them down to the dance. The ceremony meant that the girls were becoming women and could now be asked to marry. The grandmother of one of the girls said she would give me one of them and then laughed, but I think she was a little bit serious. For this part, the family of the girls even asked us to stay to record video that we could give to them later. We had tried to leave, but they insisted we stay to record the whole thing. So we stayed until the end of the dance when the fabric was taken off the girls' heads and they joined the rest of the dancers as young women. We left near sunset tired and hungry after having eaten only breakfast and the beer drink. We ate and fell asleep after an exhausting day.